Hello everybody. In this video, I wanted to talk about what I think is the best budget SSD um, that I recently got. So it's the PNY CS900, 240 gigabytes. I got it for 35 bucks from Best Buy. What a deal. So read speed up to 535 and write speed up to 500. We're gonna run some tests later just to uh, make sure it is accurate. But I did put it in the computer, so I put it in my old 2014 uh, Samsung, which is an i3. So this thing is pretty sick. So I am running it on the computer right now, so we are going to run our test. So firmware is right there, CS900, 613. And temperature is 33 degrees Celsius. You want to make sure to keep it under 70. But I, I don't do anything like super massive. I mean, I do some video editing on this computer. It's an old computer. And it still runs amazing. So we are running our Crystal Disk Mark 7 test. So I'm going to speed up this video 3,000 times, fast forward. And then here's the results. So as you can see, it is pretty accurate um, just based off the box. Another thing to note is the warranty, three years. So PNY, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they got good customer service from what I've heard. Um, you know, just make sure you always back up your data. For my computer, I don't really have anything that important, so so another test we want to do is let's do a boot up time test. It used, to, it used to take about two minutes for me to boot up this computer on the old 5400 RPM um, hard drive. So right now, just booting it up with the SSD. Boom. So I'm going to wait a little bit more. It's usually around, there we go. So I would say about 16 seconds is the uh, boot up time. It used to be like two minutes before. So now let's run an Auto Disk Benchmark. So the Auto Disk Benchmark 4.01 version. So in this version here, you can see that the write and read speed is also pretty close to what the box says. So I'm overall, I'm impressed for a $35 SSD. Really cool, I highly recommend it. Uh, let's see how long it lasts, but with the warranty, I'm not too worried at all. And, you know, like I said, I mean, even for regular hard drives, you know, I used to, I use Macrium to back up my data. But it's been smooth sailing. I, it, I loaded an image on it, and it works like a dream. So that's pretty much all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.